This is a quick video about connecting area diagrams and the distributive property to partial products. This is very similar to what we've been talking about the past couple days. Now we are adding a f an additional digit. Now think about what we've done before. How might this be different multiplying four digits versus three? Really, the only difference is that you are adding a column in your area model. So, you still start with a rectangle, okay? but now you're separating it into four sections instead of three vertically. And then you'll have three horizontal, and we will have 4,000, 500, 10, and 9 across the top, and then 300, 20, and 6 going up the side. And then we will multiply the insides. When you multiply it all out, here's what it looks like. You have 24,000, 80,000, 1,200,000, 3,000, 10,000, 150,000, 60, 200, 3,000, 54, 180, and 2,700. And then remember you're going to add everything together. And here's what it looks like when it is all added up. You'll notice that I have all the numbers, and mine are lined up okay, but they're not great. You want to make sure that you line it up uh, more evenly than I have here. And I have my solution as 1,473,194. Now you can also do this using the standard algorithm instead of just multiplying it out. Okay? Go ahead and try that on your own, see if you get the same solution. You notice when I multiply it out, I got the same solution here, and it did use a bit less work. So that's one of those, make sure you follow the instructions and do exactly what it tells you to do. Okay, try one more problem. If we take the, zero, take the one out and add a zero, we do have a slightly different problem. We're going to start setting it up the same way, but we're going to multiply a little bit differently because of that zero. We're still going to draw out your chart like you normally would, and we're still going to put 4,000, 500. We're going to put zero tens, and that's important. And then we will put nine. And then we will do six, 20, and 300. Now it's important to make sure that we include this zero here in this column, even though we know all of the solutions in that column are already going to be zero, because it is a different value that we need to take into account. It is considered to have one partial product fewer than we had before, remembering that these are my partial products. Okay. And then we would solve it like we normally would, add it together, and multiply. Okay, here's what it looks like. Remember, to get this value, we multiplied 4,006. To get this value, it was 520. And for this value, we multiplied 9 and 300. The vertical column with the horizontal row gets you wherever you're going. Okay, and then we add it all together again. When we do that, we find that our total amount is 1,469,934. And again, we can check our work by using the standard algorithm where we are multiplying 4,509 by 326 and adding it using the standard algorithm, adding everything together, we notice that we have the same exact solution, 1,469,934.